up until the moment that Roy attacked me, the night had been going really well. But what would happen over the next several seconds is I felt like my own blood leaving my body would elicit a physical change in me that would last for nearly 20 years. That change would later in my life help me to understand something of how people use emotions to drive nearly every decision that we make. You know, in, in CX, we talk all the time about the importance of this emotional connection with the customer, how they spend more money with you, if you have that connection, and on and on and on. But nobody ever tells you why. What is going on in our bodies that makes that connection so powerful? Today, we're going to talk about what is going on in our bodies that makes that connection so powerful. This week, 40 billion reasons. Somatic Marker Hypothesis. Let me just start off by saying, in case you haven't already guessed, uh, the Roy, who uh, took me apart all those years ago, wasn't a man, but rather a dog. He was a guard dog. Got loose uh, one night as a friend and I were visiting the construction site of a home he was building. This was in another country, and I'm sure I looked very different uh, from what Roy was used to seeing. And before my friend could get over uh, to where we were and stop it, uh, Roy did what I think he thought his job was, and he kind of kicked my ass. That night, as Roy was attacking me, I placed uh, somewhere about, you know, kind of three inches behind the bridge of my nose, something I would later learn was called a somatic marker. The story of somatic markers and how they are the mechanism for firing off the emotions that guide nearly all of our decisions is just amazing. If you are in CX or EX or both, this is fundamental. You have to understand it. Because if you don't, you risk damaging uh, brand equity and employee goodwill without even knowing you're doing it. So today we're gonna cover two things. Number one, what is semester?